Alright, this video I'm going to teach you some things on bench press safety. I took some weight off. Normally I'm doing around 205, 215, 225, but I just took left the 45 on there to make demonstration. This is 135 pounds, so it's going to be easier for me to demonstrate it with. I'm going to talk about safety when you bench press. Now, obviously if you have a spotter, that's going to be the best thing. But not a lot of us have the luxury to have a spotter. And not only that, but I don't like to bother people, even if I'm in the gym, I don't like to bother people about spotting me. So, um, I like to figure out a way where I can challenge myself while keeping it safe. Now, there is some safety bars right here on each side. This, is, this bar is actually designed to put the, the bench on an incline. But, right now, since it's on a flat bench, it can be used as a safety. So this is one of the best ways to save yourself if you can't push it up. So I'll just demonstrate that real quick right here. Say I'm bench pressing this weight. And then I can't push it up. Then I can just put it right here. Okay? That's the safety, safety point. Okay, so let me demonstrate that again. Right there. Okay? So that's one way. If your bench press has that, then that's one of the best ways to for safety. Now, if your bench press does not have that, um, there's a way that my father showed me that works. And I had to do it a couple times in my life. And it was kind of scary, but it wasn't too scary because I knew what I was doing. But I think I had like 245 pounds up there, was a lot of weight, and I couldn't push it back up. It might have even been 265. And I had to utilize the technique that he showed me in order to save myself. So let me show you how it goes. What you do is when you're bench pressing, you're doing it here. Now, right here is very sensitive. You can really hurt yourself very bad if. You can almost die, pretty much die, if you, if you drop the weight onto this chest bone. So what you do is, once you can't push the weight up, you roll that, that, that bar onto your abdomen area, and then you sit up, and then you'll have the bar like right here. The abdomen is strong, but right here is weak. So if you can't push the weight, get that weight out of this area. Push it back to the abs, and then sit up, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate it with this weight. And how you do that. So say I'm bench pressing and I can't do any more, then what I do is I put it right here. And then I roll up. Okay, I didn't do that that clean, but that's pretty much how it looks. You put it on your stomach. Alright, even if you put it on your stomach. Maybe you could drop the weight to the side as well. That's another option. Let me demonstrate that again. You put it here, and then you put it right here by the stomach. If you can't do it anymore, you roll it down like this. And then you keep it dropped to the side, or just sit up with it and lay it across here. Now, obviously there's not that much weight, and it, it looks like it's... Uh, easier than it really is when there's a lot of weight on there. So, even so, even with these safety measures, you still have to be careful. Alright, so let me demonstrate that one more time. Put it right here. And sit up, okay? But even if you can't sit up, at least put it onto your stomach. At that point, you might be able to drop it over. All right. Another thing that you can think about is maybe don't even have the clips on there because if it really gets bad, then you could just um, tilt it over to the side, let the weights drop off. Now this is only 135 pounds and it is kind of um, uncomfortable to even have to do that. 
So you have to be able to measure yourself and what you can do very precisely. Like, don't go that extra rep if you don't feel that you can do it. It's if you don't have that spotter. All right. Another thing to remember that I advise is don't max out. Like, don't ever do like your max one rep of the bench press unless you have a spotter. That's just very dangerous. I recommend to stay around 10 reps or more, 10, 12 reps or more through your sets so that the weight is lighter. So meaning there's a big difference between 225 and 245, you know, or 205 and 225. If you could do 205 like 10 times, it's safer to do that, um, work out with that range opposed to doing 225 like four times. Because four times is, is cutting it very, very close. Because you might think that you could do number five and then you try it and then you end up not being able to do it. Other things is that it's going to be even more dangerous if you have it on the incline, the bench. And then the most dangerous if you have it on the decline. Because if you have the bench in a decline, um, the bench just looks like this and then you're, you're, you're sitting down back. And if you can't push that weight weight up, that 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 bar can pretty much end up falling in your neck, and then you could die right there. So I don't even do the decline. Um, I don't even like the way that it develops the muscles. The best is the incline and the flat bench, in my in my opinion. Everybody says that the from what I've known, the incline is supposed to be the best for overall muscle development. Um, but I just like the flat bench. The decline, like I said, is very dangerous. You have to be very careful. So keep those safety measures in mind. I mean, it's very important. This stuff can potentially save your life. If you get in a very sticky situation and you can't push it up, make sure you know what to do. And like I said, roll it onto your stomach. It's going to hurt a lot, but it's not going to be as bad as if you just let it lay in your chest. All right, so. Let it go on your stomach and then just do what you have to do to push that thing off. Um, sit up or do something. Alright, tighten those abs really hard. There's a couple of times that I had to do that and it's not it's not a, it's not something that is, is a good thing. Alright, so the more experience you get with your training, um, the more that you'll be able to, to see and gauge where you are, where you're at so then you can get the right amount of reps to challenge yourself and not put your, your, your safety in jeopardy, all right? So train safe and train hard. Take care.